Okay, here we are with the uh, CTS um, fitting of the Samsung Tablet S2. So you probably all recognize this once you take the screen out. This little piece sits here. And of course, the top that we recognize that fits in there. So, whoops. As you can see, which is what comes up. So take that off. Take the screws, take the screen. This will lift out. You don't need this piece now. For the moment. Okay, then we have this here. Take off the screws. And you can see on the back here, how all the flicks and fits together. So with the right angle that just slides out and off and you'll end up with this piece. Now remembering it's facing this way up so just to keep our memory going we'll put a little apple here. God it's hard to do this and hold the phone. Now from my previous measuring the only thing if you look down here which has got any height is funnily enough this height is all bloody perfect. We just have a couple of, over here, a little bit high, a little bit high. So this is our base height. We're going to nip everything off, which is four of them, I think. It must be two, actually. These two here. And we'll be back. Okay, so I took it off. Uh, good news is this is just a bit of mild steel, so very soft. Just nipped it off with the side cutters and um, and dressed it with a file. Now, believe it or not, with the tablet sitting on top of this like that, it's actually the perfect height. It's the perfect fit for the depth out to the face. So let's uh, get on to the next piece. Right. Now with that chopped off, this cover put back on again, the thrillingly interesting part is the, just sitting in here, as you can see, is absolutely made to measure. Quite flukily. What I do now is just get the height right, but I do want to put this on because this will in fact fill in around here. I need to water cut out so I can still press the buttons. But gives us a nice finish so it actually looks factory and not like I've chucked a tablet in the hole. Okay, so the top, which I've marked with the tape, is going to stay at the top. Can't play with that because the eye, the Galaxy um, tablet is a bit taller than factory so it's going to disappear down the bottom the width is not bad it's a bit squishy but I think it'll fit so what I'm going to do now is cut off this bottom because it's going to drop down then I can still utilize the surround so I'm one inch up from here 25 mil nip through both sides and get the bottom okay with these two off I've uh, chopped it off I used a little coping saw so now Technically, the unit will just slide on in, which it will. But if we look up here, we can see, if you can see it in the light, let's try it. Okay, so it's, if it focuses, yeah, it's that little, little upstand there, and there's one down here. This side's nice and smooth, nothing here, so... Grind these two flat and then the screen should slide up. Okay, so what I've had to do now just to get the width right is trim out the side of the plastic cover. See what I've done here? The important part of course is not to come around the face here so it still looks tidy. Now, I will go all the way through, but I haven't yet because I need to space the bottom and then uh, epoxy that up and sand and paint and make it look beautiful. And then I'll chop that little piece out later because you can see how it stops its sitting face. Now, when it's actually in the car, 
Let me see if I can hold it. You'll see that the screen is sticking out that much wider. And quite frankly, when it's slid together, you won't see that. I may, in fact, just darken that chrome edge so no light reflects off it once it's in the, uh, in the vehicle. Okay, so I've cut the side out now. Uh, right through, that's the amount of height I've got to pick up. Which of course technically means I'm going to lose about 8 millimeters of the screen below the dash, which I could adjust, but actually now I've had the the car system running, it's it's no biggie, not at all. Um, you can see it it's gonna look really nice. Factory square edge. Uh, where the button is here, there's two this side, where am I? Just here and I'll water cut them out so it's got a nice factory shape. Now actually, the amount protruding out, it, it'll tuck in a bit tighter. But actually looking at the piece that this fits into, which is uh, this piece here, obviously if you look down here, you can see, oh, I can't see the bloody light, oh, there we are. You can see the power in and audio out. So I'm going to have to do a bit of work in here yet for that to come out underneath here. Um, but if I was really fussy, I could actually trim in here. Just take a little bit out of here so that would that, that there would tuck in there. But quite frankly, I don't think it's going to... I don't honestly, you won't see it. Okay, so now to um, Use some um, epoxy and resin and some matting and build this little space up. A good plastic welder could probably build that and play with it, but I'll do it uh, the old boat way. Oh, I just thought some of you might be interested in how I'm doing this. There could be a better way. Obviously, build a jig would be quite nice. What I've done is basically just mount it down, tape it down. Um, if you use a pair of veneers, which I did, I could. Slip it in, that's a nice snug fit. So 140 mils exactly. And what I'll do down here now is grind that face out this side and the inside, and then I'll I'll mat it up and epoxy. I can grind it out later. I guess a good plastic welder could do this, but I don't want to make too much of a mess of it, so this will work. Okay, so why would it net seal? The next job of course is figuring out uh, is the power, is the connection because it needs to be quite tight so fortunately I found that if I uh, I ground through, heated it and bent it over and resealed it I'll pack it up so it looks nice but working like a dream everything's working no complaints there so I've got all the Required pieces working So you can see where I am It's kind of like low and his own And then you can press here always goes back To wherever So I've been playing with all sorts of things trying to And this is on top. So from there I can press this and go straight back. You know, I'll run through all the ins and out of what we have here in due course. So we've got a touch button here, which we're gonna adjust. I think the fun will be when it's all in is all the apps and bits and pieces you can add when you uh, connect into your car, into the caddy. Very exciting and again single button um, straight back to your oh, I've got a nice clock as well which is quite nice in case you want a clock. 